Hi Radical Dude, this is Mouseface, and I scare other YouTubers. <laughs> so yesterday, the reason we didn't upload was because me and Haley were at Indie PopCon. But the thing was, we had to get there an hour early to get our wristbands because we were meeting Crank Gameplays, OG Chan, and Gravigli. And apparently they sold out in like eight minutes, so my parents were like, oh, well we'll get there an hour early. We get there at like 9.40, the convention doesn't start until like 12. So we go in, we get our wristbands and nothing's open, so we're kind of just wandering around the convention hall for, I don't know, like 10 minutes maybe. And my mom's like, oh, there's a mall right across the street. So go to Starbucks. I didn't need anything, which was stupid on my part. <laughs> but so we walk across the road, we get to the mall, and well, it's, you know, like 10 in the morning, so nothing's open at the mall. And so we're kind of just wandering around the mall, like, well, what's opening? So we go into Hot Topic, cause we're trash. <laughs> go to Hot Topic, go to like some, like, game books, toy place, I don't know what it was called. But they're kind of just walking around, like, wandering aimlessly around the mall. And it's like 10, 30, 10, 20 ish, and I'm like, can we just head back to the convention? Cause it, I mean, we didn't have much else going on at the mall. I, there was, I could at least go see some cosplayers if we went back to the convention. So we're on our way out of the mall, and it's a, like a pretty big mall. And so there's like different levels, and there's a parking garage. So we're trying to find our way out. We're kind of lost. And I'm walking with Haley. We're not really paying attention because I'm trying to get video of random stuff to like fill in a vlog or something because we weren't going to be able to do a video since we were at Indie PopCon. And so we're kind of like, oh, okay, well, we'll just film some random stuff while we're walking around the mall. And I'm like looking through my viewfinder, not really paying that much attention. And I see a shirt. And I'm like, that's a cool shirt. It's like a Dat Boy and it's like a Galaxy shirt. And I'm like looking at the shirt and I kind of look up and I'm like, hold on, I know that face. And I'm like, that's the freaking, that's, an that's the anime man, that's Joey. And I'm like, okay, and I'm like starting to freak out. And then all of a sudden I see his girlfriend, Aki, and then I just start bouncing like an idiot fangirling. And I'm like unable to say anything. And I'm just staring at them and jumping a lot. Like I'm sure it was weird for them. But I make eye contact with Oji-chan and I'm like, I just, Gerald just made eye contact with me. I can't just walk past them now because I've been spotted. And I, he kind of looks at me weird and I'm just like, uh, hi, can I get a picture or something? And he just like hugs me and I'm like, you're, you're touching, you're touching my bot, you're touching me. I watched you through a screen and now you're touching me. And so I'm kind of just like frozen and looking up at him and he's like, he's really nice. Like he wasn't rude or anything. He's like, I'm pretty sure I scared him though since I flipped out. And my mom's kind of like, oh, okay, cool. She knows who they are. And my dad was like, I thought you just like went to school with these people or something. My dad doesn't really understand YouTube. <laughs> but so I would like latch on to him and I'm, it was bad. I was fangirling hard, like crying almost. And this is before we're even in the convention. This is still in the mall. And so my mom takes some pictures with us. I'll probably put them in the video. She takes some pictures with us and it's like, Oh, okay. Well, this is this is good. I just met like I didn't have wristbands to meet Joey and Aki, so I was like, oh, awesome! I got to meet them. That's great. Even though I didn't really talk to Joey since two dudes had stopped him and started talking to him, he's just like in the background of the pictures, looking salty at us. It's great. <laughs> so I'm freaking out. Like we get through like two levels in the mall, headed to the con, and I'm still freaking out. Like I just hugged G. Like. This man, I love this man, he is my hero, and I just hugged him, and I'm like, he smelled really nice, and I'm like freaking out. Just, I was shaking so much the entire day, and I hadn't eaten anything, so it was probably that too. But so, we get to the convention, and my parents are like, okay, you can stay in the dealer's hall, because we're gonna go to a movie. So they just like, dropped us off at the dealer's hall, and, we, and me and Haley were kind of just wandering around, and we bought some stuff. Haley got some Neko ears, um, and <laughs> I got, Haley got Neko ears, and we both got these mystery bags. They were just little paper bags with random anime merch in it. And I'm like, oh, heck yeah, I'll buy it. It's $20. That's cheap. Haley gets one, I get one, and we're kind of wandering around. Like, we weren't really, kind of forgot to open the bags. And we go, and we're like, hey, I'm kind of tired. So we go off to, the, like, the corner and, like, up against the wall. And we sit down, and it's, like, right by the main stage. 
and we're kind of just sitting there, we open up our bags, and I'm like, I got this cute little plushie and a little penguin thing, and Haley was like, dude, okay, no, I can't keep this, and I'm like, what did you get? She has a freaking, just straight up, it was a figure that we definitely couldn't have kept, I would have kept it, but she couldn't have kept it, neither of us could have kept it, so we're like, what are we gonna do? Like, we can't just leave this somewhere. So we decide, we're gonna walk around this convention, and we're like, I know someone's gonna take this figure. Like, it's just an anime girl, huge boobs, and a bikini. And I'm like, someone's gonna take this. So we're wandering around, we find this booth, and this guy's like, what's in the bag? And we're like, okay, this is a long story, but you need to see this. And he's like, he looks at it, and he's like, I bet you can find anyone here to take that. He's like, you throw that up, you can get anyone to take it. So we're kinda wandering around, and we run into a dude dressed up as that boy, and I'm like, we're gonna talk to this guy. Cause he's just carrying around a freaking unicycle, and we're like, all right, we're talking to him. So, we're like, oh, hey, do you want this? And he's like, he like takes off his mask, and he's like, what, no. <laughs> and we started talking to him, and he's like, yeah, just, no, I don't want that, good luck, though. And so we like go, and we're talking to this one chick, and Haley's just like, hey, do you want this? She just starts laughing, she's like, no, but he may, he comes over, he goes, oh yeah, and we're like, will you take it? And this girl just comes from behind her booth, like she's running the booth, just comes up and is like, I'll take it, we're like, here? Okay. And so she just like runs off and then she's like, thanks guys, and we're like, that was the weirdest experience ever. And so after that, Haley's like, I kind of have to go to the bathroom. So we start heading that way, and we come out of the bathroom, like we talk to a couple of cosplayers, we come out of the bathroom and we start walking down like the main hall where the doors are where everyone comes in. So we're walking down there and I see, I just happen to look up and I see bright blue and I'm like, that's, that's Ethan. And I like, I look at him and, I'm, and I just, I got really excited and started bouncing again. And I just go, Ethan, like just out of pure excitement. And he just turns around, look like the most terrified look on his face. Cause he's got like, like security with him and he's got, uh, it's Ethan. Uh, Brian and G and they're all like what's going on and I just like yelled Ethan and he turns around and he's like oh I'm high and I'm like hi I love you and he just they were like, just, like whisked away from me and I was like oh I guess I'll see you guys at the meet and greet all right bye so me and Haley are losing our minds as we're walking because we're like we just freaking we saw Ethan and we're like crying again there was a lot of crying today but we're both freaking out and this girl comes up to us and she's like did you guys just see Ethan? And we're like, oh yeah, and we start talking to her and we kind of walked around with her for the entire convention and we found out that she didn't have a wristband and we were like, oh, well, you know, we'll say hi for you. <laughs> and so we just hung out with her the rest of the day and we kind of just walked around the convention. It was kind of boring after that because it wasn't like that big of a con. So we were kind of just buying random stuff and saying hi to cosplayers, getting pictures and stuff. Haley got a picture with Mr. Clean. <laughs> it was pretty fun. And then at two, we got in line to go see Ethan's like meet and greet kind of stage thing. So we get in line and we're like, we're like in the middle of the line. It's not that bad. We've been staying there for 45 minutes and we're getting kind of close. We're like two or three rows from the stage. Cause it, Ethan wasn't really like going quickly. <laughs> we'll say that. Um, but so this lady comes through and she's like, oh, we got another line coming in in a couple minutes. We need to make space. So she moves us all forward or back. She like, I don't know, I didn't understand at all what she was doing, I don't think she understood what she was doing, but she was having us all move forward, like, she moved some people forward, some people back, and it was very confusing, but we were like in the middle, and the 20 people who had just gotten in line behind us were picked up and moved two lines in front of us. So the people that had been standing there for like, maybe five minutes were just now at the front of the line, and I was like, we've been standing here for 45 minutes. And Ethan's, like, their meet and greet slot was from, like, 2 to, like, 3.45, I think. And it was, like, 3 o'clock when she did this, so they were trying to, like, make room for this other group that's coming in at 4. No one from that group came at 4. No one came in general. There was no one there. So we're like, okay, so we just got put in the back of the line for no reason now. And they're like, there's 45 minutes left in this, and there's still 100 people, 100 or so people in line. So my mom kind of was like, hey, why did you, what did you do? And the lady's like, well, I can't really change anything. You're kind of just stuck here, but I can get you some waters. And I'm like, okay, um, I don't think water is going to make up for not meeting my idol. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not that thirsty. <laughs> so we're 
were just like, no, it's fine. And she's like, well, if you have a wristband, you're guaranteed to meet them. I'm like, okay, I'll believe that when I get up on stage. But it was fine after that. We ended up waiting in line for quite a while after that. And we ended up getting up there. We got video of us meeting Ethan. And so I had made Ethan this blue flower crown. I had made it myself, it took me like two hours and I had a little gear on it and I was so excited. And I get up there and I got a folder full of fan art for him and I'm like, I hug G, I hug Brian, Haley goes in front of me and just latches on to Ethan. And I'm like, what are you, you're gonna get us kicked out of here. Cause she hugs G and Brian's like, oh, hey. And then she just walks by him. And I'm like, Haley, what are you doing? And with all of our pictures, it, like our pictures, Brian's kind of just, oh, okay. But so I hug G and he's like, oh, you're the hyper chick from the mall. I'm like, yeah, that was me. And so I hug Brian, I don't really say anything. Brian was super quiet the entire time. But I get to Ethan and I'm like crying. I'm like, I love you so much, you have no idea. And I'm like, this is the most surreal moment of my life. Like watching someone on a screen for two years and then all of a sudden seeing them in person and hugging them. Cause Haley like finally let go of Ethan cause she's like a freaking burrata over here. And she finally lets go of it and I'm like hug him. And I'm like, I, he smells really good. That sounds creepy, but he smells really good. And so I'm kind of like back off and I hand him the flower crown and he already had like a pink flower crown that some girl had given him on. And so he puts my blue one on top of it and Brian looks at him and is like, you look like a garden. And it just, this was the most amazing moment of my life because Ethan just goes, I'm a garden boy. And I was like, that was actually the most adorable thing that I've had anyone say to me. Like that was beautiful. And I'm like crying and he's just like, no guys, don't cry. And like hugs me and Haley's like, you guys want a picture? So we take a picture with them. And we get out of line because Lady's like trying to usher us off the stage. And my dad and my mom, because it was you could get a picture or an autograph. So my parents had also got wristbands so that they can get autographs for us. So we get up there, we get them to sign like the little cards that they had. So I get, to, my dad was apparently talking to G and he was like, hey, thanks for bringing her to the mall. And I was like, no, thank you for just randomly showing up at the mall because like, I don't know, I was really hyper. And so it was really cool like meeting all of them. So we're kind of like, oh, all right, we'll head to like dinner now because I hadn't had anything to eat and it's like four o'clock. So we had a dinner and we I ate like pretzels or something. <laughs> and so we eat and I'm like, it's getting close to the panel. So we show up to the panel and the whole like first five or six rows are just full of people. My parents, because there were there's not many spaces for four people because my parents were with us. And my parents were like, we'll just sit in the back. You can go find somewhere up front. We got in the third or fourth row, I want to say. I want to say third row. There were two open seats in the third row that me and Haley just dashed to. We just straight up were like, boom, this is my seat. No one's taking it. So we sit down. And then like the guy running the panel, Carl. Carl is super lit. He, he was hilarious. And he was talking about a couple years ago how Ethan was running the mic for Mark and now he's gonna run the mic for Ethan and it was so great because Carl was amazing. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> but, so, you know, everyone comes out on stage and uh, we were sitting next to this group of girls who really like to chant things and we all start singing the um, Mad Mike song from when Ethan was being the ice cream man on a date with Mark Flyer. And Ethan gets out there and he's like, no, no, stop, stop, please. And we're all, we all just kind of die down a little bit. And he's like, we're doing a Q&A. We'll pick questions. So Ethan gets up there and he's like about to pick someone. And I'm just sitting here and I like shoot my hand up. Like, I don't have a question, but I'm gonna, I'm determined to get picked. And Ethan's like, uh, the girl in the blue jean jacket. I had a blue jean jacket on. And I'm like, oh, there's like 14 other people with blue jean jackets in this area. And then he makes eye contact with me and goes, she has a blue flower crown on. I'm like, that's me. I have a blue flower. That's me. And I like stands up and I'm like, I don't have a question prepared, like at all. And I'm like freaking out and shaking. So the guy hands me the mic and I'm like trying to hold it. And he's like, no, 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 you don't have to hold it. And I'm like, what do I do with my hands? So I'm like nervously just like everywhere. <laughs> and I'm like, um, hi, I love you. And Haley's sitting next to me just like, I don't even know. I didn't look at her. I couldn't see anything. I was like blacking out. And I'm just staring into the mic because it's so weird because you can hear yourself talking and there's kind of a delay so it's like the speakers are right there. So you're like, hi, I love you and you hear that just echoing and I'm like, why did I say that? So I'm trying to buy myself some time to think of a question I just blurt out the most generic question that I regret so much. And I'm like, what's your opinion on fan fiction? And I'm like, Ethan's already
already answered this. I don't know Brian or G's opinion though, so it's kind of okay. You know, Ethan gives his normal, yeah, I'm okay with it if it's not like, woo, <laughs> smutty. And so, Brian's, the entire panel, Brian was kind of just like, yeah, what Ethan said, and then would add like a couple sentences, and then G was like, basically the same thing. It was kind of, my question was really bad. <laughs> I, I really wish I would have like thought of something beforehand, but I got so nervous that I just blurted out the first thing that came to mind. But the rest of the panel was amazing, and it, I was so lucky. Like, this was the most lucky I've ever been in my life, I think. And I don't think I've ever, like, every other convention, I've either been, like, the cutoff to a line or something. Like, there's never anything going right for me. This is the first convention that I've met people that I wasn't even, like, supposed to go see or anything, and it was amazing. Like, I'm just gonna, sh like, stop talking about how amazing it was. <laughs> but so, I guess we'll end it here. So remember, check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs>